Hey guys, it is Kamaya Tarkley, author of Alicia Vale, I Salute You, Alicia Vale, You Were, Evolve, and Succubus, and I'm back <laughs> uh, to do another book review with you guys today. Um, today, we are actually going to be reviewing Balzac and the Little Chinese Seamstress. First of all, look how cute this cover is. It's adorable. It's adorable. But no, um, it was cool. It was it was a good book, and I know it was nominated for awards, and you know, it's one. The only thing about this book is that it's a little, for me, I feel like it's a little all over the place. Like, I feel like the events don't really connect. Um, it's about like two uh, teenage boys who are sent to a mountain time. Uh, it's China, early 70s. Um, this is during uh, the communist re regime. And they're sent there because their parents are declared kind of enemies of the state. Uh, the narrator, we never know his name. His parents are doctors. And then his friend, Luo, his um, parents are dentists. So... Their parents are essentially taken. They're sent to the mountain zone to be re-educated and stuff. So basically, I guess the re-educating is kind of humbling them. In my personal opinion, that's kind of what I grabbed from it. Because uh, the jobs that they take up there are um, carrying uh, bags of excrements uh, from point A to point B, which is, in fact, very humbling for two boys who were, you know, a little more well up in society prior to that. Um, but the narrator's okay. Um, he was kind of a secret douche, you know what I mean? Like, at first you think Luo's gonna be the douche because he does think he's better than people. They even meet a young woman that they both end up liking, the little Chinese seamstress. Um, and Luo just thinks he's better than her, even though they actually start dating. Um, he just thinks he's better than anybody at first. But then as you, as the novel progresses, you begin to notice, like, oh, the narrator's kind of kind of a dick and stuff because he kind of like betrays his friend by liking the seamstress as well um he also just does a couple things to get himself in trouble and just you see during his interactions with some people people find him to be a little bit more of the sneakier one um and again he is uh but i mean it's really just kind of looking at their time in the mountain zone and stuff like seeing the events that transpire, the transformations with them, uh, the transformation of the little seamstress, um, who was at first, you know, just a mountain girl to them and stuff, and then she grew to be much more. Um, I mean, it's interesting because the author actually spent time uh, getting re-educated himself, so in my personal opinion, I feel like it's probably a little bit more of a realistic look at what times were like. Um, but yeah, go ahead and give it a shout. I'm posting a link down at the bottom. Uh, but that's it for today. That's the book. If you guys have any suggestions, please go ahead. Feel free to throw them at me. You can throw them at me here or my Facebook page, Kamaya Topoli Authors page. Um, but yeah, that's it for today. It was awesome talking to you guys. Peace!